Jessica here with French Farmhouse Flair, and today I have a haul video to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, the first items I want to share with you are from Dollar General Store, and they are really stepping their game up, guys. They are getting some really cute items for summer, as well as they've had really cute farmhouse items that they've been getting in as well. So uh, this has a nice little hanger on it to hang it, or you could just set it somewhere. And uh, this was $6. And then um, the only thing is it has this navy blue border around here, and I don't have navy blue in my home. So a, a quick little fix for you guys too, if you don't have that color in your home decor, is to just put a little cute ribbon around it, whatever ribbon of your choice. I would probably use something like this that has that uh, burlap, burlapy look to it, um, kind of the jute rope look as well to uh, match and go along with the little rope here that that is uh, for the hanger, so it would go with that nicely. So I might be doing that, guys, with this little piece. The next item I purchased was this cute little lemon jar, and that was five dollars. The other little lemon item I picked up for summer was uh, these cute little salt and pepper shakers, which will look so nice for my uh, table setting that I will be doing for summer. And those were only a dollar, guys, super cheap. The next items I wanna share with you are from Kirkland's, and they're gonna be these lavender-filled cute baskets. And uh, originally, they were $21.99 on sale for $10.97, and then it was 25% off of the green markdown price. So really good price, guys. And then this candle was also on sale. And I love the way it smells. You guys, it smells so good. And it's perfect to go along with my lemon theme for summer. It's a sugar dusted lemon. And it is the three wick. It was originally $9.99 on sale for eight. So I picked that up for $8, guys. And oh, I wish you could smell it. Wish we had smell-o-vision. It smells so good. Okay, the next items I'm going to share with you are from Marshalls, and of course, I love these because they have the French wording on them. This says the bath in French, and this soap dispenser was $6.99. I think I'm going to be using all of this in my guest bathroom. And then I also picked up the matching little soap dish for $3.99. And then they also had this matching little tray here that I picked up and it would be nice to put on the bathroom counter to put like um, Q-tips, cotton balls, that sort of thing, or could even go in the back of the toilet. But it was $7.99 for that. The next item from Marshalls I picked up were these cute little honeybee, uh, little bee skep or honey or beehives, whatever you want to call them. And um, super cute for the set, uh, $3.99, super cheap for that little set too, I thought. So, so, so cute. And then the next thing I picked up, just one item at TJ Maxx, but I had to show to you guys with along with my bee stuff here. But I purchased these at TJ Maxx for $12.99. I thought they'd be really cute for summer. They were in the glass case where the jewelry is uh, kept there at TJ Maxx. The next items I wanna share with you are my Hobby Lobby finds. So my first find there was this cute little bee hook, and I'm sorry I don't remember the price on this, guys, and there's no price on it, so, um, but they were on sale. I never buy anything that's not on sale there, and if it's not, I always use a coupon, so uh, make sure you use your coupon if it's not on sale. I also got this cute little sign that says, be kind, be positive, be courageous. Love that, and their, all their spring items were half off, so this was $13.99 originally, half off of that. The next little cute sign I got was this Welcome to Our Honeycomb sign. thought that was so cute, and it's got this nice ribbon on the back to hang it with. You can hang it by that little ribbon there, and um, this was... Let's see what the price on this was. This was also a spring item, so it was half off. And I love the French bee stuff. See, there it says French bee. I just love all the French stuff. Um, so this was $11.99 and then half off of that. The 
the next item I got was also has the French bee on it, but this was from Michael's. I usually always get my stencils from Michael's, and it has the French bee on there, and then it has the Florida de Lis, and then the crown. So you're getting all of these stencils here. And uh, this was priced at um, $8.49, and then uh, I had to use my coupon on this because um, it was not on sale, so I used my 40% off coupon and got it for $5.09 for that. And I think that's going to be really nice to use for DIY projects. Um, I've already used some French stencils in some of my DIYs, um, but I'm always looking for, for new ones and new ideas. So, um, And the next item I got was from... Um, Oops, I don't want to forget to share with you this cute little bee item. It's also the little French bee here, little bucket I got at Hobby Lobby. Oops. <clears throat> and that was in the spring section as well. So it was $7.99 and then half off of that. And then this cute little candle I just wanted to share with you that my mom gave me. So cute. The little beehive or bee scap. And it's got the little candle wick up here. I don't know if you can see it through the plastic bag. I thought that was adorable. Little candle. And it might even fit with my little miniatures and one of my little cubbies to put that uh, in. The next bee item I found was um, at the flea market. And I purchased this for $6. And it was actually, I guess, a bank. But I am just going to use it for, almost looks like it was a pencil sharpener here too. I'm not sure, guys. And, um, but I'm just going to be using it for decorative purposes. I thought it was so cute with the bees and the bee skep on there. And then uh, the next item I will share with you, I also purchased at the flea market was this cute little, um, little metal, uh, shabby chic looking little, kind of like a little garden urn, I guess you would call it, um, and it already had these cute little greens in here, and in fact, she didn't even have it for sale at the flea market, but it was just more, she was using it for display, and she had the cutest little shabby chic uh, booth set up there, and um, she said she would sell it to me for the same price as she paid for it, and she paid $6 for it, and um, that was without the greenery, so she just let me have the greenery with it, so I thought that was so nice. And then she was so nice to tell us about a cute shop that we should check out, that my mom and I should check out. And so we did. And um, we were so excited that she told us about it because we absolutely love the shop. And um, if this video isn't too long, I'm going to insert the pictures that I took while I was at the shop. I wish I would have done a video, but I did not have my um, camera with me that I typically use for doing my YouTube videos. So... Um, I will try to insert pictures, though, you guys, for you, because it was an adorable shop. Uh, I know you guys would love it. So I did. we did end up going to that shop, and I did see these there, and they were $6. And so um, I got that for the same price, like I said, the flea market. But then I found this um, that kind of went with that, and I picked this one up for $4. And I guess you could use it. It said it was a candle holder, so you could use it for a tapered candle or whatever you want. I think you could use it either way, depending on what you want to use it for. But um, I think I, I have an idea for this uh, DIY thing I'm going to be doing, so I'm probably going to I have something in mind for that. So that's why I picked that little guy up. And then I picked um, this little cute... Um, little I like things that I can use to raise things up and give different heights to things when I'm decorating and so I picked this up um, for that purpose and this was $14 at that cute little shop that she had told us about and my mom and I had so much fun we're so glad that we uh, went to that shop to check it out and it's called Southern Chicks Market and it is in Hendersonville North Carolina and um, this was um on sale it was originally 18 and I got it for nine dollars and like I said I like using things to raise things up when I'm doing uh, displays uh, in my home decor and um, so I picked that up I thought that was really neat it also looked very French country French farmhouse to me and so I love that and I also picked up this cute little um, sheep here that looked very French country to me as well and that was five dollars 
And then the next item is I was so excited to find these cute little uh, metal canisters because they are French and in, I've been looking for some of these, but they're usually very pricey, especially when you buy um, the, uh, the authentic, you know, like older ones, the antique ones or vintage ones. These are actually reproduction, but you know, I didn't care because I've been looking for some, I've been wanting them. I've also been wanting them in the black and white, which is, been very difficult to find. I haven't found them yet. So, um, I was very excited when I saw these and, uh, I picked these up right away and I had to get these. So, um, they were pricey, but they are a lot cheaper than buying the vintage, you know, old ones, the antique ones, uh, from France. So this was uh, 45 for the set of four, uh, for these canisters. And, um, I just was so excited to find those, very, very excited. So very French country, French farmhouse. And then the next thing I found at that cute shop was this cute flag here. It says home sweet home with the black and white check. And I just love that. And uh, this was uh, $12 for this uh, garden flag. I don't know if you can see the price guys there, but uh, that was 12. And then um, let's see the next items. I, the next item I want to share with you is this rooster weather vane, and um, that was actually from Cracker Barrel, and uh, it was originally twenty nine ninety nine on sale for uh, half off. So I actually put it on top of my cabinet up here, guys. You can see in my dining room, and I think it looks so cute up there. So um, I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so the next items I want to share with you are from the thrift store. Now, I purchased this from my Salvation Army store. And you guys know that I think I've told you before that every uh, Wednesday they have half off on everything but furniture. So, um, I got this cute hanging flat basket there with the flowers in it. thought that was really pretty, but it did look like it was missing some flowers here that maybe they had taken some out of there at one point before they donated it. So um, I do need to fill in here. So I'm just going to fill in with some flowers that I already have around the house, extra ones. And, um, and I think it's going to be really pretty when I get it all done. And then I'm probably going to add like a thick wide ribbon here to cover up because you can see the green uh, foam that they had stuck the flowers down inside of. And so I'll probably just use some ribbon that I already have that's burlap with lace or something like that. And then um, just putting, oops, sorry guys, knock something over. And I'll just put that around and just glue it around the basket to hide that. And then maybe do a bow or something. Okay, so the next item was also from the Salvation Army store. Oops, I think I forgot to tell you guys the price on that. If I can find the sticker, I think it was $6.99 and then half off of that. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can take it off of here without, oops, I'm going to knock, I think I'm going to knock everything over. Okay, so yeah, it was $6.99 guys and then half off of that. Okay guys, so the next item I got at Salvation Army Thrift Store was um, this cute frame and it can set either way, up or down, and it was $1.99 and then half off of that. And I really liked that it was kind of crackled and distressed uh, look to the frame here. And then the next item I got at the Salvation Army Thrift Store was this cute little easel and I'm always looking for easels to set things on when I'm decorating so I always can use those and this was $2.99 and then half off of that price and then the next item I got um, was this cute little rooster and I'm going to paint it so I'll probably be painting it white or black maybe I'm not sure yet but that was $2.99 and then half off of that and then the next items I'm going to share with you are from, I think there are, the rest of them are all going to be from the Goodwill. So this is the next item I'll share with you in this little cute little silver piggy. And it's a piggy bank. So cute. So that was 99 cents and then um, 
at the Goodwill. And then I believe that this, this doesn't have the sticker anymore. I think it fell off. But I think this was either 59 or 69 cents, something like that. It was super cheap. And it reminds me of those French wire um, egg baskets that you put eggs in. And I think thought that was super cute. And then the next item I got were these really small little tiny lemons. And I got the whole bag for a dollar. And then um, let me take these items off so I can share with you this platter. I got this beautiful ironstone platter for only uh, $2. And, oops. And it is made in England. It's England ironstone. So, love that. The next item I got was this cute little copper oil. Uh, I think it's like kitchen oil um, that you would use to cook with. And I just thought that was so cute. I'm, you know, getting in and there's no price on it. I don't remember. I think it was like $4 or something like that. But um, I'm really getting into the copper because it looks so French country, French farmhouse. So that's what I love. And I picked up this little copper little teapot as well. And I don't know what these things are here on the side. I'm not sure what those were for. So if you guys know what that's for, please let me know. I have no idea uh, what that was for. But th this was $2.99. And um, I already have a cute little um, copper teapot up in my dining room hutch here. But... I just had to get this one too because it was so cute. It's a little bit smaller than the one I have and um, I just thought it was adorable. I have a thing for teapots. And then the other thing I picked up at the thrift store was this rooster here or hen, chicken, I don't know. <laughs> and this was uh, $3 at Goodwill. And then I also picked up this brass um, little cute thing I can hang it's flat on the back so you can hang it somewhere put a little plant in it or flowers or whatever you want uh, this is $2.99 and um, I'm just getting into all the different metals guys you know whether it be the uh, the brass or the, the copper and the silver I like, love it all okay the next item I got at the thrift store was this cute little I don't know if this is lavender to me it looked like lavender so um, it's in this pot here, and um, I need to secure it better because it's not in there very good. So I'm probably going to hot glue it in there and then put a little more fresh moss around it. But I got that for $1.50, and I might also be putting it into a bigger pot. Okay, and then the next items I'm going to share with you, I just have a few items from Walmart that I want to share with you. So I got some lamb's ear at Walmart and these are the shorter stemmed ones. They do have the tall ones there as well. But so I got two of these lamb's ear picks and they were $2 each. I love, love the lamb's ear. I think it's so pretty. And then I got this little pot of lavender there that um, at Walmart and it's normally $4.97 and I got it on clearance. It was on sale for $3. So I picked that up. I also saw this really cute lemon tree there at Walmart and um, it was a little pricey before, but I got it on sale, so I ended up picking it up. Originally, it was $19.97, and I got it on clearance for $9, so I thought that was a really good price for that, so I went ahead and picked that up at Walmart. So I think that's all, guys. I think I've shared everything that with you. I hope I haven't forgotten anything, and I hope you enjoyed this haul, and um, happy, happy hauling to you guys, and, and hopefully you find what you're looking for when you're out and about uh, hunting for your finds. And uh, have a great one. Have a beautiful and blessed day. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Okay, guys. So I will be using this Dollar Tree easel just to stand the basket up inside of so that I can um, fill in those blank spots I want to with some florals. And... Um, but first, before I do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and add the ribbon while I have it laying down. It'll be easier to do um, do that laying down. I'll be using my low temp hot glue gun uh, to attach this ribbon. I want to start in the back so that uh, my seam is in the back so you don't see the seam. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay guys, I think this turned out really nice. I did end up adding a bow to the top. Um, I thought about putting it on top of the lace that I added around the basket, but it looked pretty there too, so I was a little unsure where to put it because it looked good in both spots, I think. So let me know what you guys think about this and um, should I have the bow at the top or should I put it down below on the lace around the basket and the burlap there. Um, I used a Dollar Tree hanger to hang on my interior door here. It's just clear, so um, you can't see it very good probably on here, but um, that's from the Dollar Tree store as well as all the florals uh, that I added. And I think it turned out really nice for an inexpensive uh, floral arrangement. And um, I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I wanna show you one more um, floral arrangement I did with using Dollar Tree florals. Thank you.